Everybody loves controversy, and I'll stir up a little here. Joining me now is driver Debbie Day, and Debbie, it's not very often that I get the opportunity to interview a lady driver, but here I have one. Why do you think the women are still in minority when it comes to competing out on the track? Well, there's just there's not that many women, and uh, it's it's pretty rough sport, especially when you're competing against male drivers. There's a whole lot more of them than there are us. I don't know, just maybe um, they're not interested in the horses. I know we're. We take good care of them. <laughs> well, there should be more women. Well, purely from the standpoint of being against all the men, what does it take to get the respect of your male-dominated peers? Well, it takes uh, respect. I, I guess it took me maybe five years. I've been driving for 30 years, so four or five years for them to respect that, yeah, I can handle a horse and they enjoy driving with me. And it just, you know, takes your ability to not be stupid out there. <laughs> well, you speak about that, but you're not out there every night, every night, every night, like most of the men, and I'm sure there's a little bit of a uh, handicap to that. Yeah, there is. There is. Uh, a person that drives, you know, more, has a little more, uh, you're used to it more, and uh, I kind of pick and choose. It's just kind of a hobby for me, and I really enjoy being out there. And a lady of leisure <laughs> and actually when it comes to Bob's Little Bird you say you pick and choose so why today why Bob's Little Bird? Well a friend of mine uh, she's been my friend Sherry uh, since I was in the fourth grade and they just insist on me driving their horse they love for me to drive they get excited they enjoy watching me drive. Well you've been up behind him before so tell us a little bit about Bob's Little Bird. Well, when we first qualified him I thought he had a few problems we made a few changes on him uh, injected his hocks and he's just come along and uh, he's a nice little horse. He's had a few problems but he's a nice little horse. In the beginning I thought oh boy we're gonna have some problems but he's come r right along he's a nice little horse. Okay a nice little horse but he's got the outside post position today and how will he give you his best race? He, he really likes coming from behind. I had raced him on the front end last week which I was surprised to be on the front end but um, I'm not sure. It depends on if he wants to leave or, you know, he comes from behind good, though. He likes following. He likes being in the in the bunch. What about catching a hole here at Delaware if the horse kind of, you know, drifts out there, leaves a little? Is that tough? Oh, no, it just depends. Usually, you know, a lot of a lot of your top drivers, they always take a shot and leave out. You look and see who looks like they're leaving and not. But on a half mile track, it's a little easier, I think, to get a spot than it is on a 5.8. At least it's been my experience. You mentioned top drivers again, and what about intimidation factor? Are you intimidated by the fact you're going up against some of the sports heavy hitters, uh, David Miller, for instance? No, I knew David before he was driving. <laughs> a lot of them, I'm sorry to say, I mean, I remember when they were very young. I know their mothers and fathers, their grandfathers. So I've been around the business a long time. Now, Debbie, we know that's true, but there's one thing that you bring to the business, and that's uh, you're very outgoing and vivacious, and you look so good in your colors. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> that's not everything all those drivers can say, that's for sure. Well, good luck today, Debbie, and thanks for telling us about Bob's Little Bird. Thank you. Let's go back to you, Sam. Well, Sam's taking a little break, so Roger's sitting in 